Okay, guys, I did do a video on making this, but the video was so bad that I am not posting it. I, the lighting was bad. Some of the angles where I was showing something was bad. And this is too simple of a project to make it look so confusing the way I had it going. But anyways, it's about 20 inches tall and 11 inches wide. And it's just your straight seams. And you could probably use a glue gun with this too. And then you just make sure you leave this up here where you can thread your ribbon through it. And then I put um, a pick on there and some pine cones and there's some berries. And I got my image off of Etsy. And all I did with that is I used this uh, True Heat Transfer Paper. And I just sized my image and printed it out and cut around it with scissors. And use the heat press to put it on. And I think it turned out real cute. And I did want to show you, even though I didn't have the whole tutorial. All right, from here, I'm going to go into a very, very, very small thrift haul. All right, here is my small haul. I got this uh, little candle holder, brass candle holder. It was 50 cents. Then I have got these two little spoons. I thought, well, if I make something with a jar or something, I can leave it sticking out of it. They were 25 cents a piece. And also in the same box where everything was 25 cents, I got this grater. And I thought I would rest it up and maybe put some uh, Christmas picks on it or something to make it cute. I like doing simple little projects that are fast. And then I bought this candle it does work, and that makes it cost-effective that if I need a candle in something I'm making, I can afford to do that. And the last thing I got was the lid off a, a ro roasting pan. It's a real, really small one. Really small. But I thought it was a dollar. So I thought, well, I might be able to put some spindles on it on the bottom. You know, cut off some spindles and make legs make a cute little tray but we'll see for a dollar i like to do things like that so well here's a project i'm working on now i have a bunch of rusty bed springs and i like to occasionally get one and try to do something with it i think i've only done a video on one i'll see if i can find it and link it down below but i took my rusty stars that i have i have different sizes and I glued the largest one to the top. I'm going to have to try to disguise that hot glue somehow. But on these here, I just uh, wrapped the... Get that in focus. Wrapped it around the spring itself and then put just a little touch of the E6000 on it. Get back in focus here. And that's what I have done so far. I think, I'm not really sure, but I do have a, let me show you. I have a piece of cedar here. I thought I would put it up on that and then put some Christmas greenery and stuff around the bottom and decorate it. But as usual, I'll figure it out as I'm going. So I'm going to go into the other room and try to find some greenery and things that I can put on it and see what I can come up with. Well, I've went and drag out all my stuff that I used to decorate the projects with during Christmas and they're piled here. I really need a bigger room. So I'm going to start going through all that and see what I can do with this. Okay, I thought I'd start out with just a base. So I just ran some of this stuff around it on the base. So it, just to get it started. Now I'm going to start building from there. Well, I've pulled some things out and I don't think it's going to take a whole lot to fix this up. Because I have this little vine thing here. 
and I thought it would look cute going around there. It does have a little bare space in here, but I have a larger pine cone and I'm gonna cut off of this. Okay. And I thought it could fit right in there. I'm just kind of laying it out right now because I don't want to glue or do anything until I know. And a little sack of small pine cones. Different sizes. Okay, I don't really... Just trying to fill that one spot in. Let me get some of them. I don't know if I want these or some plain berries. If I do use these here, I need to have the smaller ones. Let me just see how that's coming along. That's kind of Hmm. Not sure if I want that big pine cone. I need that face of this way, so I really need to pull my bare spot in the front to fill in. Because that's where I would want that. And that's just a little big. I wish it wasn't quite so big. Yeah, it's just a little big for me. I need something to fill that in. Yeah. Let's see what I can come up with. There's some leaves. You guys could be here all day if I keep filming on what I'm going to do. Because I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if a leaf would look good there. A leaf might look good there if it wasn't so big. Let me see. Uh, I don't care for these kind of berries. See, I kind of want to make sure I can fix it to go on this. Yeah, I might bring some down, some of this down around that. Or maybe not. The wood needs to show. I don't know. What do y'all think? You see that? I don't know how well you can see it. But I'm going to work on it some more. Just kind of search around, see if I got anything else or different berries. I know I have different berries. Okay, what I've done is just put a little paint on it. I thought I had some uh, snow text, which I did, but it's, it's dried up. <clears throat> but I just put a little white on it, and then I clipped off some of the other leaves and a few berries that had extra back in here. Okay. And I'll just kind of cover it up and fill it in. And once I get that done, then I'll figure out how I'm going to attach it. Okay, that's just an extra one. I probably need my smaller ones. that. They're more like what's on there. And this bag of pine cones and different things that I use is I buy old uh, potpourri at the thrift store, spill it out on the table, and I pick all the stuff out of it that I want to keep and separate it. And that's how I get all my little pine cones. It makes it cheap that way. Okay, I'm going to try one right there. Okay. 
right there. Now I need to kind of cover that different stuff up. really don't think it needs a whole lot more or more of at all. Okay. It's not attached to it yet, so I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to attach it to this at all. But what do y'all think? Do you think it needs to just be... Can y'all see that? Let's see. I don't know if... Let me pull this up a little bit. And then I'll scoot it back. I've got so much junk here. You think it needs to be on the cedar? Or just take it off the cedar and leave it like that? Either way, I think it's cute, but the, the cedar gave it a little more height. And there's what it turned out looking like. But I am gonna hook this on, because see, it's just laying there right now. And I have a stem sticking out here, and I need to attach it back there. That's what it looks like, and I'm not sure whether I need it like that or like that. Okay, I added another star right here, because I felt like facing this way it needed it, and just put a couple little berries on it, not on every star, and added a few more pine cones to fill it in. And now I'm going to take this and put some polyacrylic on it. And that way, if they want it on that, I'm not gonna attach it permanently. It can sit on there. If they want it on there, they can put it. If they don't, they can take it off by itself and have a little riser, so. That's what I think I'm going to shoot for now. I decided I wanted some snow, so I am going to mix up some snow because I'll probably be using it through the winter season. So I always keep baking soda in here. I have a little container from the Dollar Tree. I always keep those on hand. And I'm going to put some baking soda in there. Then I'm going to take Mod Podge. Where's my stir stick? Probably a little more than that. I, I just mix this. I'm just going to mix it. I don't know. I don't have a recipe. If you get it too thin, you add more baking soda, too thick, a little more Mod Podge, and I am going to go ahead and add some, uh, that's pretty thin, that's too thin, but I'm going to go ahead and add some white paint in there, yeah, that's white, just to make sure it's good and white. Yeah, that, that makes it look better. And I do have it too thin. Okay, a little more baking soda. That's looking better, still a little thin. I hope I didn't get too much towards over my container. better. 
Yeah, that's it. Kind of looks like that snow text that you buy and pay big money for. And mine was dried up. Yeah, that looks good. See? Looking good. I think that's perfect. Still nice and wet, but it holds its form. I'll make sure it's good and stirred up. Okay. Gotta find something. I used to have a painter's knife, but I don't know where it's at. I might be able to use this. Let me see. Okay, let me move everything out of my way. I don't want to spill anything because I got so better put the lid on everything or I'll end up making a mess. I need to wipe the top of that or I won't be able to get it open next time. Okay, found this spatula. I'm going to wipe this off. I don't want a whole lot, but see, like right in here, it didn't. I thought I put some on it, but. Every time I start filming, my dogs start in. Okay, now I just want a little round on my tree. I'll have to set this aside though and make sure it gets good and dry. That's gonna help hold my, make sure my stars don't come undone either. Okay, that looks good to me. Oh yeah, I did I did take some poly acrylic and put on my uh, cedar block. And I also scoot that to the side, smear some on my leaves. Okay, I took a little uh, votive candle LED and I put the Mod Podge and cinnamon on it and I'll just set that in the middle. I've got the wrong view, but I will show you when I get finished. But I think I'll put a little snow going around the candle too. This stuff is way cheaper than buying snow text and it's gonna dry hard. It has a Mod Podge in it. And I just put some acrylic paint in it. And I'll put the lid back on it and we'll see how long if it lasts me through the season.
All right, I'm gonna set these aside and let them dry. And I'm pretty sure I'm finished with this project. And I think that's gonna be all I'm doing in this video, so I'll show you a clip of it when it is totally done and styled.